Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how, as it says on the screen, make objects the same size. Well, let me show you how to do it. First off, let's get rid of that. I'm going to insert some objects. Let's add in some buttons. There you go, give it, give it a name. So I put button one and let's insert another one. That's really small, isn't it? Button two. And let's do one more. So I'll go to insert button. Button three. Now, I could try and make them all the same size. There is a few different ways. You could kind of line them up and get the grid lines all going together and everything like that, which would work. Then you've got to make them take to the side, and move it down like that, and then repeat. And you know it's okay if you've got one object, but it's it's a bit time consuming if you've got you know seven, eight objects on the screen. So in this instance, I want all objects oh, in this instance I want all objects to be the same size. Now you've got to be careful, you can't really do this with images because well you can, but you can't, because if you try and make them all the same size by doing the method I'm gonna show you, it's gonna distort them. But it works perfectly on shapes like these buttons or on squares or triangles or circles. That type of thing. Let me show you how to do it. First off, which one do we want you know, the correct size to be? Let's say it's button one. So click on button one, single click, go to format, and you want to be looking at the width and the height, which is 244 by 101. So remember those numbers, you might want to write them down somewhere. 244 by 101. Then select all the objects, go to format, width, 244, height 101 and we now if i line them up so they look quite nice we now have three objects exactly the same size it doesn't have to be buttons though like i say it could be squares and shapes so i'll insert some objects i'll insert another one and i'll insert a let's go for a triangle so you can highlight them all like this. But first, remember, you want to click on the object where you want the shape to be the default one, you know, the one that they're all the same size as. Probably best if we use this triangle in this example. So click on the triangle, go to format. So it's 171 by 136. Select them all, format, 171 by 136. And there you have it. If I line them all up, and they fall off my page. But there you go, they are all lined up with each other. That is how you make objects all the same size. But remember, don't do it with images because it's gonna squash them or stretch them and they're gonna look terrible. Well, I hope you found my video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to use Articulate Storyline, but also more top tech tips.